For this demonstration, you will need a TSP-652 Bluetooth and a Windows computer with an internal Bluetooth radio, or you can use a USB Bluetooth dongle. First thing we're going to do is a self-test, which is done by holding down the feed button on the front of the printer while turning the printer on. The first piece of information we're going to be looking at is the BD name, which is Star Micronics. This is the name we're going to be looking for when we pair our printer with the PC shortly. The next piece of information is the Auto Connect setting, and later I will explain why the setting is important. To pair the printer, we first need to hold down the pair button for five seconds or until the green light flashes once. After letting go, the light will begin to flash continuously and we should now be able to pair the printer with our PC. After we've initiated pairing on the printer, we'll need to open up the control panel on our computer. We'll need to open up devices and printers and we will add a new device. We're going to allow the computer to scan for devices. As you can see, Star Micronics appeared almost immediately. I'm going to click on Next, and the computer will then initiate the pairing process. Okay, now the printer is paired with our PC. Now, although we've paired the printer with our computer, we'll still need to download the Windows driver and set up a printer queue. Your printer should have come with a driver CD, so if your computer has a CD drive, you can pop the CD in and run the installer. If not, you can always visit our website and download the driver. It's www.starmicronics.com forward slash support forward slash default dot ASPX. This will take you to our main page. Product type is going to be thermal. Printer family will be TSP650II. Interface, you can select any of the following, but we're going to select Bluetooth. The operating system will vary depending on what system you're using, but the latest driver should work for Windows XP and higher. If you know if you're running a 32 or 64 bit system, you can always download the light versions of the driver. Otherwise, you can download the full CD package, which includes both the 32 and 64 bit drivers. My computer is 64 bit, so I'm going to go ahead and download the 64 bit driver. Okay, so the driver has finished downloading, so I'm going to go ahead and minimize my web browser, and we're going to open up our downloads folder. There's a shortcut to our downloads on the left hand side and there's the file we just downloaded. We're going to extract the contents. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and click on the Star Print Setup folder and the Setup folder again and we're going to run the Setup program. Let's go ahead and minimize some of these windows. When the installer opens up, you're going to click on Next, accept the license agreement, and click on Next again. We want to do a typical installation. If uh, you want to minimize the install and remove other features such as other drivers for other printers you don't need, you can always do custom. Uh, for this demonstration, we're just going to do a typical. And finally, we click on install, and the install process will begin. The time the installer takes may vary depending on uh, your computer, so just be patient. All right, so the installer is all done. Now that the utility has finished installing, you'll find that two new programs have been installed on your computer one of them named Printer Utility Star Print, the other is named Star Bluetooth Utility. Windows XP, Vista, and 7 users can click on their Start menu, open up all programs, and you should find a Star Micronics folder containing these two utilities. 
Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 users can also click on their start menu which will bring up the Metro UI and we're going to type in the word printer and the first entry that should appear is printer utility star print. Now in the utility we're going to select our model which is the TSP 654II emulation needs to be set to starline mode and next we're going to choose our interface and our interface is Bluetooth. It automatically identifies any uh, Bluetooth serial ports and there should only be one in the list if this is the first time you're pairing the printer. We can click on done and it's going to prompt you for a name. Now this name is only used for the utility so you can leave it at its default setting. Next we get this pop-up informing us that we need to install the Windows driver. Uh, we can do this by accessing Windows Printer Queue Management which is right here at the top after clicking OK. Now there is still no driver installed. We just need to click on this button and it will install the necessary driver. We click on Add. Now we need to give the printer a name. I'm not too picky so I'm just going to leave this name. And that's it. Now from the utility we can run a test print. We can view the printer queue. We can modify any printer settings via properties. Or we can set the printer as default. But we can also do these things from devices and printers. So I'm going to open up control panel. I'm going to view devices and printers. And as you can see, the printer we just created is here. I'm going to right click on this printer and I'm going to select printer properties. And we're going to run a test page. That sound you just heard was my printer printing its test page out. So with that, you have successfully set up your TSP 652 Bluetooth on a Windows PC. The auto connection setting is only needed when the printer is used with iOS devices. Therefore, it is not needed when used with Windows. To enable or disable the auto connect feature, you hold down on the reset button on the back of the printer for a few seconds. The printer will then reset itself and print out a confirmation page of the new setting.